I wanted to make this video for quite some time. Now, my video on social justice warriors harassing one girl on Tumblr because she didn't draw rules courts in a politically correct way, while it may not be the most popular video I ever made, it's certainly gotten attention. So for a while, I wondered why is this show so goddamn popular? When I first saw the show, I thought it was pretty neat, but I also saw it as some sort of generic cartoon as well. So with that in hand, I figured that I should watch the show and see why. So I downloaded a lot of episodes of Steven Universe and decided to dig in deeper. I'm not going to go into too much details as some of you may already watch the show, so I'll give you the short version. Steven Universe is a half-human, half-gem who is part of a team called the Crystal Gems, Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl, and recently added Paradox in the newest episode. They have to fight monsters from harming human beings, which are mostly gems. Steven Universe is not your typical super fit, if not snip hero. He's a bit chubby, but he's still training, so we can assume that later on in the series, Steven gets a bit older and loses a bit of weight because, well, he can't remain fat. It will just hinder his abilities. I can understand why this show has a fan base. It's filled with mysteries and theories similar to Gravity Falls, another show that's popular within Tumblr. But the question still remains that I never really understood. Why is it that social justice community is so obsessed with Steven Universe? Even more so than any show like My Little Pony and Gravity Falls. I don't see many feminists talk about My Little Pony as much as they talk about Steven Universe. And I think I already know why. First of all, almost every gem that has made their appearance that is a humanoid, not counting Steven Universe because he's only half human, is technically genderless. However, most of these gems have a more feminine looking body, and the ones that don't are more or less but lesbians. Two, there was already a quote-unquote lesbian love relationship between Ruby and Sapphire, which is the fusion of Garden. The first to have a gay relationship is the Legend of Korra. Yeah, it blew everyone's mind that the relationship is now canon. Third, it contains none over sexualized women. And last but not least, the protagonist, Steven, along with Amethyst, is overweight. As long as this show doesn't move away from these facts, these social justice warriors are going to stick it to it like glue. It was never about quality or the plot of the show. All these people care about is the fact that this show is more or less politically correct when it comes to the show. It offers something that not even My Little Pony has, which by the way is filled with so many female characters, which is diversity in weight and gerund fluid folks, a lesbian love relationship, and the fact that pretty much every gem so far goes by female pronouns, thus making it a show for social justice. That's the only reason. Diversity. If this show was the other way around, these feminists would just call it another generic cartoon. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out. Hello, I'm the Atheist Gamer. Uh, this is just a, um, you know, this is just popped up out of nowhere. Like, I just found this out today and I, you know, I, I need to make this video a bit longer, so. You know, here I am. <laughs> I'm currently using my father's camera, which is why it's a bit more HD. I wish I had a camera, you know, a much more high definition camera. So that way I don't have to like rely on using the avatar. You know, I could use this camera. <coughs> but I, <coughs> you know, the reason why you hear water in the background is because there, we have a fish tank. You know, if it was up to me, I'd remove the fish tank entirely. Because, you know, it's not good. I, I don't even know why I even have a fish. Our goldfish is like over 10 years old. It's still fucking alive. I mean, we used to have two. But the other one ate, you know, the other one, fuck. But anyway, you know, this is just a recent update about the whole Steven Universe thing. So, um, like I said before, I watched Steven Universe, and, you know, I thought the show was pretty good. You know, uh, the characters are amazing, it's, they're rememberable, you know, the plot, it, it's, you know, it contains a lot of suspense, you know, you want to know more about these people. Like, there are just so many goddamn mysteries, like, who is Yellow Diamond? Um, what's the fate of Paradot? 
Is she going to join the Crystal Gems? Is she, you know, going to betray them? Are there going to be more characters? You know, all oh, that shit. You know, I'm, it's just so suspenseful. But, uh, you know, I'm not that big into Steven Universe. I still have other cartoons that I like to watch. Like, for example, uh, Rick and Morty. I, I recently watched it. And I'm like, oh my god. This, this, how can I, you know, not watch it before? You know, I gotta start watching. You know, what, what, what the fuck am I missing? Like, what other cartoons I should fucking watch? You know... Uh, I heard regular show is good, you know, I, I've seen regular show, it's it's a pretty good show. Um, Adventure Time, I've seen most of it. There's just, there's just so many cartoons nowadays that, you know, I gotta watch. You know, I'm, I'm a bit sidetracking here. Anyway, um, about Steven Universe. In the UK, uh, Cartoon Network UK decided to censor a part of one of uh, Steven Universe's episodes. And, you know, this is the, the clip. Now, in my opinion, I have to say what exactly is the point? Like, in The Legend of Korra, if you're, you know, a fan of it, or if you've seen the show, um, at the end of Season 4, or the, you know, series finale, Korra and Asami, you know, decide to go to the spirit world together. And, you know, like, at the last second, they decide to hold hands, look each other in the eyes, and you know, very lovingly, and just walk away to the portal. You know, there was some speculation, and it's been confirmed on Twitter that this is a les lesbian love relationship now. You know, it's canon. Korasami for the win. Yay! Um. No, I've. This, this is no different. With Pearl and Rose Quartz. Yeah, there's some implication that there might be some sort of, uh, love relationship. I mean, Pearl clearly loves Rose, like, a lot. And Rose seems to have, you know, returned the feelings a little bit. But, um, you know, there was never really some, uh, definite proof that they, these two were dating. You know, they haven't kissed yet. We've seen Rose Quartz quiz, kiss, uh, Greg. But, nobody else. Uh, not, at least not in the mouth. <clears throat> but in that particular scene, it's basically no different. They, you know, uh, look each other, gaze lovingly in the eyes, and, you know, they decide to fuse together into rainbow quartz. You know, and, but they decide to, like, remove that particular part because gazing each other in the eyes is... Basically sexual tension, like we're gonna fuck tonight. <laughs> and Greg is just like, oh man, there's some lesbian action. Do 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 do. Go on, go on. <laughs> oh, you, you know what I'm thinking of. You know, I'm a, have a bit of a dirty mind, and you know, I I have to say, this is incredibly fucking retarded. Like, if people are okay with Korra and Asabe holding hands, looking each other in the eyes in a loving manner, this should be no different. You know, th that's just about it, you know. I'm against censorship, you know, of any kind. The only time I can, you know, sort of accepting censorship if it involves around blood. Like, for example, Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, it, it contains a lot of blood at times. So, what they do is try to tone down the blood. And, you know what, I can understand that, you know. They wanted to make it more kid-friendly, so they toned down the blood to, like, almost a mere minimal. 
you know, four kids did that, but they do it such a poor job. Like, like they replace the guns with um, water guns. Like, this is ridiculous. And now to the part where I have to say, this is like the sweetest part about the social justice warriors. Um, you know how the social justice warriors love Steven Universe? These people are complaining about censorship. Now, I for one am against censorship, but these social justice warriors have been doing this for a long ass time. Ever since Anita Sarkeesian decided to like read her fucking A on YouTube and be like, yeah, I'm a feminist. I'm gonna start criticizing video games. Uh -huh. Fucking hell. And you know, they decided to like censor art even though it's not censorship. To them, it's not censorship. They just want, you know, women to be more accepting with, in, in, within the video game community. I mean, fucking hell. It, this all started with, you know, Spider-Woman's butt, you know, being removed. Um, there's also the Bat, Batgirl um, cover, one of the variants where Joker was, like, holding Batgirl, you know, with her and, you know, putting a big fucking smile on her face while Batgirl was crying. You know, the social justice warriors went fucking nuts and, you know, decided to, like, no, we gotta remove that. You know, they also, with this one game, I, I forgot, but, like, it, it contains a, a maid tavern woman from somewhere around 15, somewhere around the ancient times, that fairy tale times, uh, where uh, she was holding up two mugs and, you know, she had some cleavage. And it was during for a, a holiday where women are proud to show off their boobs and shit. And then they decided, like, no, 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 you can't do that. So they removed it. You know, they also were responsible for um, removing GTA 5 from Target in Australia. These are the exact same people that are complaining about censorship when, when, you know, about Steven Universe. These people are fucking hypocrites. It's just absolutely nuts. These social justice warriors are the greatest hypocrites of all times. You know, they're the masters of being the censorship police. But as soon as something of theirs gets censored, then all of a sudden they cry the exact same excuses that they accuse of Gamergate. Oh, they're not trying to take away our video games and shit. You know, fucking hell. The point is, is that this is sweet fucking irony. This is, you know, beautiful. I want to see more social justice warriors, you know, complain about this shit. So that way it gives me fuel to see the amount of hypocrisy that these people have. As for me, you know, I, I could care less about lesbian relationship in a cartoon as long as not forced down people's throats. However, I do not support censorship of any kind. May it be a lesbian kiss or just showing off someone's boobs in a video game. You know, trying to change someone's clothing because, you know, it's not appropriate for a certain group of people. I'm against all kinds of censorship. Period. So then I am the atheist game out. Peace the game out.